Try ko kanina, itinapat ko siya sa aircon. Wow, siya lang may aircon. Okay, pero kasi nakakangawit. So, pinasa ko na lang siya sa ref. So, makikita nyo na mas malapot na siya ngayon. Right? So, makikita nyo siya, no? Ang lapot na niya. So, makatotohanan na yung pagiging lotion niya. Kanina medyo kinakabahan niya ako so, kasi na natin. Ilang grams? Okay. 130 grams yung isang breast milk lotion na ganito. Hi, mommies! So, we are now off for another vlog. And for this vlog, gagawa tayo ng sarili natin lotion using our very own breast milk. Sabi nga because breast milk has a lot of antibodies, so nakakatulong ito to cure certain kind of skin disease just like eczema. So, dito rin natin makikita na by putting some twist instead of buying ointment or over-the-counter cream, why not be resourceful? And yan. So, if you are excited to join me in doing this uh, activity, please do click subscribe, like this video, and share. Thank you very much! Alright, so before we start, pakita ko muna sa inyo mga different ingredients na gagamitin natin para sa vlog na to ng breast milk lotion. First, we will be using uh, ito, 1 tablespoon of beeswax. Ayan. After that, gagamit din tayo ng 3.5 oz na grape seed oil. Tapos, if you want, this is just optional, you may use uh, essential oils. Ayan, marami tayo mga mamis na elbularyo bang tahol doon. Yes. Okay, actually, ito lang yung meron ako dito na hindi ko pa nagamit before. Try ko to later. And then, we will also be using ito yung vitamin E na oil. Ayan. Aside from that, of course, our main ingredient for this one, of course, it's no other than our breast milk. So, kung gano'ng karami yung gagamitin mo na grapeseed oil, gano'n din karami yung gagamitin mo for your breast milk. As what you can see, meron din ako dito mga lalagyanan. So, hindi ko pa sure kung anin dito yung gagamitin ko. Kung ito ba, meron din kasi akong binili na plastic na container. Pero kung may container kay dyan sa bahay yung empty container of lotion or other cosmetics nyo, you may use that one. In my case, I don't have. So, yan. Uh, let's start. Okay. So, una natin gagawin, mommies, is that itong beeswax, yan, lagay natin siya dito sa microwavable na bowl. Yan. Tapos, pagsasamahin natin sila ng vitamin E oil. Alright, yan. So, nakita ninyo, may mga buo-buo pa yung beeswax. Papainitan natin to sa microwave. After that, kailangan mawala yung mga buo-buo na yan. Okay? Ayan. So, sabi hanggang sa malusaw lang yung beeswax. So, check lang natin. Bali, hindi ko alam kung ilang minutes yung pwede kong sabihin sa inyo. Check, check ito. Okay, wait. Check mo natin. Ayan. So, mamis, medyo matagal siya bago matuyo. Ay, I mean, bago malusaw. Yan, pero makikita nyo naman na talagang naging mukhang isang ano na lang siya. Naging parang isang oil na lang sila. Hindi ko mahawakan kasi ang init. Yan. Alright, so next na step natin is i-drop nyo na yung vitamin E oil. Few drops lang naman daw. Wala naman sinabi exactly. So, I think I'll just drop a few. Mga 2 to 3, two to three drops siguro of oil. One, two, yan, parang medyo, busin na natin to. <laughs> okay. Tapos after yan, so ang next na natin siya na ilalagay is, of course, our main ingredient, which is the breast milk natin, no? So, sabi slowly, while mixing, this one na yan, no? 
So, if you would ask me, ang nagiging texture niya, nagtitikin siya. Okay, nagiging thick yung texture niya. Ayan, so bakit nga ba naisipan kong gumawa nitong breast milk lotion? Kasi yung breast milk natin, aside from rich na to sa antibodies, napaka-healthy nito. So, kung say for example, yung baby ninyo, they suffer from eczema. Aside from that, halimbawa, yung nagkakaroon sila ng acne, which is present then even sa babies, diaper rash, ayan, instead of buying synthetic diaper rash cream, why not try this one? As what you can see in this video, I also used grape seed oil. Ayan, gumamit ako noon. Pero kung wala kayo ng ganitong oil, pwede kayong gumamit ng coconut oil. Ayan, that's another alternative. So, kung meron kayo dyan na extra breast milk and you don't know what to do, or say for example, breast milk na you're not sure kung ayos yung pagkakastor nyo, so the best thing to do for that is not to throw away, but instead use it as a lotion. So, napaka-simple lang nung recipe na to, pero I would just like to remind each and everyone na yung mga ingredients dito, since it's natural talaga, kailangan nakalagay siya sa cool and dry place. Ayan. So, these are just some of the informations that I would like to share with you kung bakit na ingan niya talaga ako. I am really encouraged to do this kind of recipe. Para mas makita ninyo. Ito na siya ngayon. Ayan. So, siguro konting cool down pa. Tapos, hindi masyadong umamoy yung eucalyptus. VIX breast milk lotion pa naman to. Kasi di ba yung VIX eucalyptus? So, siguro dagdagan ko pa. Tinry ko kasi itong human nature. Ay! Nahulog. Okay. So, ayan. Try ko pa siyang lagyan. Yeah. All right, so mami slipat na natin siya sa lalagyan na no, kasi okay nari naman for me yung consistency. Eto na pre-sterilize na tong mga lalagyan na nato. Hmm, dahil marami siya, siguro lahat to mga nito natin. Um, I was planning to use this dun sa, ano, sa baby ko and dun sa mga anak ko, yan. Para talagang makita yung effectivity ng breast milk lotion. Mm -hmm. This one. Yan. Try natin siya. How? Oh, uy! In fairness. Hmm, okay, okay mami. So, ayan. I hope na nagkaroon kayo ngayon ng other ideas kung ano pa yung pwede nyo magawa sa breast milk ninyo. Itong breast milk lotion na ito, ito na yung gagamitin namin from this day on. Especially yung panganay ko, very sensitive yung skin niya kesa doon sa bunso ko. So, ayan. By the way, mommies, invite ko rin pala kayo to like my growing page, Stress Free Mommy. You will see there some advice on breast milk. At the same time, some, ins some inspirational posts about motherhood and everything under the sun. So, let's talk there. Ayan. Please do like my page and if you have learned something from this video please do click subscribe like this video and share thank you very much mommies